But with Andrew Dice Clay, I never grew up being a fan like that. I, of course, know in respect the hell out of what he accomplished, sold out Madison Square Garden. He's a rock star comedian. So I know that history, but I didn't really sort of know him as a sort of his routine or his, you know, that sort of controversy it wasn't something that I was, you know, really front loading my experience with. Warrior Strong uh, premieres in theaters and on demand on September 29th. You know, I got a chance to see the film. I really enjoyed it. But what can fans uh, can expect from this basketball film? Well, you know, I think if you played high school basketball or any sort of high school sport, uh, I you hopefully see a piece of your, you know, history, your remembrance in there. It really is sort of just about being a young person, trying to find your way into a team that is a lot of individuals. And how do you sort of give up your individuality as part of the whole team to become a winning, a winning team and have a winning season? And it's really just kind of becoming a team. It's really about that. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like an underdog story. And, you know, fans like, uh, especially those who love sports movies, love underdog sports movies. So what it, what made you want to take on this project? Played high school basketball. I always want to make a basketball movie. And then a script came to me that was about, about basketball and high school basketball. I'm like, I'm already in. And so <laughs> and I just you know, I read through it. And I loved the two coaches that were going at it. And that really is, you know, harkens back to, you know, uh, trading places, another 48 hours, uh, lethal yeah. weapon, you know, the oddball copy couple forced together. They got to solve this case together and they just don't get along. And it's a generational and a worldview and they're just battling it out and they got to figure it out. And so that was something that I was really drawn to. I just comedy and drama and basketball. I just absolutely excited to do it. Yeah, you talk about the two coaches clashing, and that's Andrew Dice Clay and uh, Jordan Johnson Hines. So how was it having those two um, go at it for pretty much the entire movie? <laughs> you know, they, um, they're they both fearless on camera and against each other. Like, they would go at it on camera, take after take, and they had a lot of fun, really. You know, Jordan Johnson Hines did not stand down, and we all know that Andrew Dice Clay is not going to stand down to anybody. Of so, course not. <laughs> both, yeah, both of them were going at it, and it was great. They had so much fun, and as soon as the take was over, they hugged it out, they laughed it out, they high-fived, they loved pushing each other and pushing each other's buttons, and it was a real joy to be around. Yeah, you know, I remember Andrew Dice Clay like 30 years ago and being such a controversial figure. And it's just interesting to see how much has his career has grown and he's done such a good job, especially in movies. Uh, so, you know, how much did you enjoy uh, having Andrew on set? You know, it's, it's, I was thinking about some people might have had, like if, if I was ever around Spike Lee, I wouldn't know what to say. He's one of my biggest influences of all time. If I was ever around, you know, Eddie Murphy or, you know, these comedians that I watch 24 seven, I would have been like really, really hard to function because, you know, I'm such a fan. But with Andrew Dice Clay, I never grew up being a fan like that. I, of course, know a, in respect the hell out of what he accomplished, sold out Madison Square Garden. He's a rock star comedian. So I know that history, but I didn't really sort of know him as a sort of his routine or his you know that sort of controversy it wasn't something that I was you know really front loading my experience with we started talking about the character and the story and he was very excited to sort of show a vulnerability to to pursue it as an actor not as like a famous comedian playing somebody and that was really exciting to me you know like he's a really passionate storytelling mind and it was really joyful to sort of think about how to do that and then on set you know how to do it every day it's like it's it's, it's you know it's, if you made a movie it's grueling and it's tough on everybody and you know but he uh he's Andrew Dice Clay He's, yeah, you know, he's Absolutely. an entity. He's a machine. <laughs> he really is. And, you know, one of the other things that stood out with this movie, obviously, is the basketball scenes. I think the kids did a great job, um, you know, uh, you know, doing ha portraying these roles. So, um, you know, did they have any experience with basketball before landing this movie? You, you know, true to a lot of actors, they they lied to me, Brian. They, <laughs> they the resume, they had special skills basketball, you know. <laughs> yeah. First, we're looking for someone who is the character. So that was obviously really yeah. something. And of course, we want them to have some kind of, you know, the right athleticism based on what kind of athleticism their character has. Um, they did a really good job in their demo reels to, you know, practice and get a good take of them looking good playing basketball. 
we were lucky enough to have a local um, uh, basketball player who plays up in uh, in Sault Ste. Marie, Canada. And uh, he trained all the actors before they showed up on set. They had a basketball camp. So anything we could do to get the actors to look more camera ready for basketball, they were. But I guess it's almost like some actors doing Kung Fu. You wouldn't want to throw them in an actual fight. If you played these actors in a game of basketball, I, I, I'd bet on the actual basketball t- players, not the actors. <laughs> I, and I love them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, of course. Of course. Absolutely. But, you know, you mentioned you played basketball in high school. How good of a basketball player were you? You know, I in my day... In my day, very few players played above the rim. So that needs to be said right off the top where I was playing basketball in Ottawa, Canada. It wasn't a lot of stuff above the rim. So I didn't, I don't have great hops, but man, I could play some D. I could shut people down on the perimeter. That was my game. Just bring the ball up and shut the best player down. And I loved it. Oh, that's awesome. And, you know, with you doing this film, um, are you interested in doing any more sports films in the future? You know, it's it's a really, really hard thing to do to make a sports movie, like all the choreograph uh, of yeah. the basketball and just organizing that many people on camera. It, it was a, a, a hell of a challenge, and I would love to do another one. Uh, I don't want to do hockey. I know for the Canadian <laughs> people around, they can't believe it. I don't watch or play or have any enjoyment of hockey. But, I mean, the all-timers yeah. of baseball and Bull Durham, you know, football, you name it, I'm I'm into a lot of these sports. I, I, I'd even do ping pong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> that would be awesome. But, you know, uh, just uh, one last question for me before I let you go is um, overall, you know, how was the experience working on this film? And, um, you know, what do you want viewers to take away from this movie after watching it? Yeah, you know, making the movie is the same thing. I, we're, every day I was thinking, how can an audience get an enjoyment out of the scene? You know, I love sports movies. I watch them. They're kind of, yeah, they have like the story. You kind of know what's going to happen in in some respects. And the team's going to win the end, so to speak. But you want these character moments. You want the laughter. Then you're going to work towards a little bit of emotionality towards the end. This is the way these things are designed. And that's the way Warrior Strong is designed. And I really want people to enjoy the ride of the film because it's really made to just be sit back, have some popcorn and have a great movie experience. The other thing I'm hoping that is, you know, you get the takeaway from the film is, we go through a lot of our day and a lot of our lives thinking about, you know, me and my iPhone and those kind of world, you know, but we really have to move more and more every day. We've got to push ourselves into a we giving place. And that's the redemption arc of the team, of the story, of the characters. And I hope people get a little taste of that and want to be inspired by it. Yeah, I hope so too. And again, I enjoyed the film and I know everyone else who watched it, they'll enjoy it as well. So uh, Shane, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it and continue success to you. <laughs>